begin with, I'd just like to pay tribute to the heroic work of those working on the front line in providing uh, services for those uh, women and those families fleeing uh, domestic, uh, domestic and gender-based gender violence over the course of the COVID crisis. I think it's also important to, to acknowledge the work of the Minister, his department, and particularly on Garda Siakana during this period as well, and the priority response that the Gardaí have, have rolled out in the, in the context of Operation Fuishev, but also the, the information campaign um, and, and awareness raising that was undertaken through the Still Here campaign. And I think particularly in the fact that so many people were dealing with um, domestic abuse and abuse in the context of isolation i think having these various supports available during the last number of once, months was absolutely invaluable um, Ken Corl, i'd also like to welcome the changes that were made uh, as regards the availability of rent supplement to those uh, fleeing their homes because of domestic and gender based violence and the degree of collaboration that took place between uh, the department of social protection and service providers and i know i engaged uh, with minister doherty on this on a, on a number of occasions and I know that the, uh, the NGOs in this sector are very pleased with the changes that have been made, particularly as regards uh, opening and widening the eligibility criteria for rent supplement in these situations and providing new and improved referral pathways. Um, and I think throughout all this, obviously, it is uh, essential that we keep in mind those families that have been suffering domestic and gender-based violence. Um, we as a society can do much, much more to tackle the epidemic of gender and sexual based uh, vi violence against women. And central to this is reassuring and demonstrating to victims that they're not alone in this. Um, but as well as providing the services and the support to those who are at immediately at risk uh, or who are currently fleeing an abusive situation, we need to look at the root causes and tackle those root causes of domestic violence. And that's why I particularly welcome the inclusion in the draft programme for government of the Green Party's proposal that we introduce a national preventative strategy as part of our next national strategy on domestic, sexual and gender-based violence.